What is up, Ruth Crew? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's ready to read you guys. If you like my sign, look at her. I'm going to turn the lights off so y'all can see her really nice. And this is with the lights on. Like, a little saturation. Okay, cool. Okay, you guys. So, let's just jump right into it. So, Love Island USA. I'm seeing a whole lot of shit I do not like. Like, what the hell is Trina doing? Like, her and Cash... Trina and Cash were good friends in the beginning of the season. They had each other's back. They were, she was like, I, they were both having conversations saying that they can understand each other. And, you know, they can talk about things that no one else will understand. You know, being a black woman in America, one. Um, and now I feel like here they are beefing over a man. And Cass really isn't necessarily beefing. I feel like it's really Trina's fault. Like, Trina should have been a lot more respectful. And not so thirsty. As soon as the recoupling was over, Trina's all over. He's, she's all over Cinco. Like, she's trying to kiss him, walking up the stairs. Like, literally not less than, like, an hour that he coupled up with cash again and i'm just like what the hell like what type of respect like let cash know and then do your business she's not even letting her know and it's disrespectful and cash is telling some of the girls in the um in the makeup room she's saying like i feel really disrespected because trina pulls kira and shannon aside and she's like i feel like so happy right now like i feel so happy right now and cash is literally not is she's like an ear shot of her and she hears her say this like do you have any respect for her like absolutely none like it must have flew out the window but what uh, like what is she doing like i've never seen someone move so snaky and like so thirsty like thirsty and I really hope that Cinco pays attention to this new girl, Lee, Lee, or Lee Lin. Um, because I, she's just so pretty and she showed off her natural hair. I love that she is one of the first black girls to ever show off their natural hair. No, no, not the first black, black girl because um, Cache is also doing it. Which is, oh my god, Cache is just so fucking beautiful. Like, shit. I didn't realize how gorgeous she was, but I mean, in the beginning I did, I'm not going to lie. When she took off her wig, I was like, God, you should have just took it off. You should have started the whole show with that. Um, I'm hoping that she can still sink away from Trina because Trina deserves it. And I'm also hoping that Cache will partner with Isaiah because the way Isaiah and Cache were kissing and that, because Cache got that no car to kiss a pas Islander passionately. And you know, my girl ain't friends. She ain't scared of kissing nobody. Nobody. If y'all haven't remembered what she did to Kristen, my nigga, she was in there and they were in, Isaiah was giving it to her. I don't know what is up with this season, but they are doing some sexual ass shit. Okay, like they are taking it to the max. Like Cache kissed Kristen. I mean, kissed Isaiah. Like, like, oh, and he kissed her back with the same intensity. That's what killed me. Like they were like, yeah, moving. He lifted her up. I was like, God damn, God damn, God damn. What am I? I feel like I'm in a. I'm watching a private show. Grey's Anatomy. Not Grey's Anatomy. Fifty Shades of Grey. Um, like what the fuck? And then like. I saw, uh, and what's it called? I saw that um, after the recoupling, like Cache jumps on Cinco, and she's like just hugging him, and she, and then she hops off. She's like, okay, bye. And then Cinco talks to the guys in the shower, and he's like, she's never done that, you know, be like that affectionate. And the guys are like, well, that's a good thing. And he's like, no, but she just doesn't do that. And I feel like Cache did that because you know, it's Trina, um, she knew something was up. And a lot of times in the villa, when girls see shit stuff, they become more affectionate with the guy that they're coupled up with when they see other girls trying to go for him. And, you know, it really comes off as cringy, only because you know why they're doing it. But uh, you know what, Cache, I can't be mad at you, sister, because at the end of the day, I blame Trina. I blame Trina to the very end. I hope she goes home because I try to, I'm trying to root for you. But now I'm not rooting for you no more because I feel like you're foul. You are fat ow. Um, I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, there, I'm gonna start clips throughout this whole video. But if you like this video, please leave a like, comment, and a subscribe, and a, and a subscribe and subscribe because oh, the tea is so good, and we love it. And I'll see you guys in my next reaction or review video. And we out. Bye.